hello everyone welcome back to the channel emperor's life to row it's me tony your resident tarot specialist we're going to be getting into your love energetics as per usual tgif it is friday the weekend for most of us <laughs> so yeah let's go ahead and get an energetic read on your current love energies at this time see what's surrounding you what's coming towards you what you need to know and perhaps who's wanting to communicate with you romantically at this time using the ethereal visions tarot don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow and hopefully the messages resonate for you Let's get your messages, an accurate read. Highest messages of love and light, please and thank you, spirit team. What does our watcher need to know in regards to love and romance? Who's wanting to connect with them energetically or romantically at this time? What's the message? Killer and accurate messages, please and thank you, spirit team. get started grounding your energy today is the four of pentacles okay very guarded energy holding close to something maybe you're just minding your own business <laughs> literally pentacles right business but no this could be some form of a self-development self-nourishing right it is the being cheap or miserly card right? mm -hmm. my reinvesting in oneself and then we have the Nine of Pentacles, so yeah, it looks good. Mm -hmm. Independence, abundance, luxury, a harvest that you have been working towards or that's headed towards you. All right, so yeah, let's continue to spread the energies that's coming towards you or the person that's wanting to communicate with you romantically. It's a lover, a soulmate. Mm -hmm. Divinely guided love connection. This could even be self-love as well, because it looks like someone may be working on self-love or independence at this time. But again, take the message how it resonates. The Nine of Pentacles and then the Lover's card. Someone sees you as very uh, financially viable as well. Six of Wands. They're wanting to come towards you, place you up on a pedestal, or they see you as being vic very victorious already. This person, uh, I want to get more of the read here. The star card. This is possibly an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. We have Gemini here in the lovers, and then we have Aquarius here in the star card. So a very eccentric person or very free-spirited. They may be some sort of a, um, it looks like this person may be on some sort of a platform as well, right? Receiving 15 minutes of fame, you know, the standing ovation. So them, them themselves, they may be on the platform or they want, they may want to place you on their uh, platform. So this could be some sort of a collaboration as well. Mm -hmm. But they see you as wish fulfillment and hope, the star card. Knight of Cups, romantics. You know, this person wants to come in and romance you. They have emotional feelings for you. Possibly want to take you on a date or go out for drinks or something like that. But they're definitely viewing you as a lover here. Mm-hmm. They may even see you as healing. Mm -hmm. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this person sees you as their lucky charm. Or uh, typically this would be the universe, right? Auspicious energies bringing you luck or karma. Mm -hmm. Turning the Wheel of Fate or Destiny in your favor at this time. So divine timing this is, is what I'm getting for some of you guys. It is one of my marriage ring cards as well. So when it comes to wish fulfillment, this could definitely be some sort of a love relationship. Entering your peripheral or a marriage. Definitely seems like a divinely guided connection here. Yeah, you know, your person may be an influencer. I mean, someone here is um, has some sort of a platform. The Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, gone through tough cycles. 
physical hardship, many lessons, right? It's closure. Nines are about karmic energy, so you have to release things, right? In order for something new to come in. Yeah. This person could have been on a journey of self-love or a journey to find their lover, right? Six of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Wands. So, yeah. Some sort of a new creative spark, a new beginning or an adventure. This is also sex as well, clarifying the Six of Wands. So, there's a lot of creativity here, a lot of sacral chakra energy. This person may be a, yeah, a very creative person, very energetic. Let's clarify the star card. The Eight of Cups, walking away or detachment, possibly even detoxing as well. Comes out on top of the star card. Yeah, I'm almost getting, uh, getting riding solo. Hmm. I know I know that it's lonely at the top, yeah. That could be what I'm reading here. It doesn't really seem like this person like they may have a bunch of friends and family, but this person is very unique in a sort of way. Well they feel like they're they they spend a lot of time alone or something like that, or even if they don't spend a lot of time alone, right? You ever had that feeling where um you're in a room or you're in a crowd of people, but you feel like, um, I'm not sure if it's lonely, but that you're different here. Yeah, the star is different. It's it, it's being eccentric. It's being strange. It's being out of the box. Right? Not able to compute. <laughs> right? I was just explaining to somebody yesterday that Aquarius is like uh, alien energy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and clarify the Knight of Cups romance here. Queen of Pentacles. So for you masculines, this could be a feminine headed towards you, or vice versa. Again, take it how it resonates. If this is a, if you're a feminine watching this, you have a uh, masculine coming towards you that understands feminine energy, right? He he's coming towards you, Knight of Cups, to support you somehow. Right? Again, to romance you, you may be some sort of a healer. But the Queen of Pentacles is typically a wife or a mother, very stable and supportive feminine. She's the queen, right? The counterpart to the king. Capricorn energy. The here font, Taurus energy, mm. major arcana. So this person is a traditionalist, and they may indeed be looking forward to marriage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They may even be an entrepreneur as well. The here font comes out right after the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is isolated to grow some sort of a business or to gain confidence in themselves. Or they just don't let any type of people around him, right? We don't just call anybody our friends, right? Dude, meet a dude, and the next day he's calling him big bro, right? Like, yeah. Again, I talked about this yesterday. Why would I, as a man, want another man to leave my life, right? Mm -hmm. But, yeah, this person may be a traditionalist or a religious figure or some sort of a teacher. They may even be a religious teacher. The Four of Wands. Commitment after commitment. Jesus. So we have the 11-11 uh, card, the Twin Flame Energy. Celebration and marriage union. Building a, success, a successful household and grounding this spiritual connection. Yeah. Grounding this lovers, a spiritual relationship into uh, the 3D plane. Yep. Good energies here. So someone sees you as marriage material, they see you as soulmate, they may even possibly see you as their twin flame, their one. Let's clarify what's at the middle of the spread here. The ace of wands on top of the six of wands. We have the five of cups. An emotional change, grief loss, or sadness. So the person that's coming towards you, they may have experienced some sort of a loss or sadness. Or they may have an unorthodox way of dealing with their emotions and getting more of that lonely energy. Mm -hmm. Let's clarify the Eight of Cups. Yeah, they recently walked away from something. This could be detox as well. Like if this person has any like um, addictions or something like that, that could be something that they're working on. Mm -hmm. 
I'm getting uh, put away childish things. Isn't it like in the Bible or something like that? When someone's ready to mature, um, I'm guessing in this particular situation, um, love or um, marriage or something like that. Someone's ready to put away childish things. <laughs> That's funny. I haven't played video games in almost three years. There's a lot of things that I haven't done in a while since building this channel, being on my self-love journey and just kind of being a little bit more, uh, being more mature. Although about two years ago, I promised myself that I was going to be the most, uh, not necessarily immature, but I was going to be uh, the most childlike that I can be until I'm 40, right? So it could be like that, right? This person may be like detoxing from drugs or detoxing from alcohol, detoxing from overworking, right? The love of the love of money is the root of all evil. It, it, it's something that this person is working on, right? You have to go through the Eight of Cups in order to reach wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups, the Eight of Cups is on top of this wish fulfillment star card. Yeah. So you know, again, in order for your blessings to come through, you can't sit there and be like, "I'm an addict. I'm an addict. <laughs> I want a million dollars," right? What you think is gonna happen if you give an addict a million dollars? Right? <laughs> what if you what what you think happens when you give an undisciplined person a million dollars? Right? So yeah, this person nine of wands they're going through their cycles. Let's go ahead and clarify the eight of cups in this star card though. The queen of wands, divine feminine energy showing up in this reading. Yeah, twin flame energy. So this person is deciding to take accountability. This could be uh, creativity as well. Yeah, they could be channeling. That's the thing. You can't really, again, energy is not destroyed, right? So you would take whatever that energy was or whatever. That, that's why people have to have hobbies, right? They have to do some people. Somebody asked me, why do I get up every day and just leave? It's like, I remember working on the corporate plantation. Yeah, getting up at five, six in the morning, you know, to drive or to walk or to just catch public transportation to work, right? I'm 37 years old. I'm not at retirement age yet. My body, well, I'm in a shitload of pain right now. Um, and that's even how I was when I was working in my 27 years. People, like, no one knew that I was in extreme amounts of pain while putting in more work than most of my coworkers. Damn near more than the doctors that I worked for, right? When I was working for Medicaid. But yeah, and even t now to this day, yeah, I get up and I make my way. I'm not going to sit around and just complain or just sit around like there's nothing to do <laughs> i eat a youtube channel or any other things that i have going on right but yeah the queen of wands is very charismatic very strategic very bright and brilliant she's a manifester she's a mover and a shaker you won't catch the queen of wands just sitting around doing nothing right <laughs> that's a lot of energy right and what is emotion energy and motion right inertia so whatever it may be, whether she's attracting people to her via her beauty, right? Maybe this is an athlete, some sort of an entertainer or a dancer, right? <laughs> someone very crafty. Or whether it's someone that likes to seek out and uh, challenge themselves and follow their dreams and their goals, i.e. Uh, someone always wanted to go rock climbing or mountain climbing where they had some sort of a goal, the 10K run that they always wanted to do, or they always wanted to create this big, uh, fantabulous art piece, right? Yeah. I've worked with artists that, uh, you know, it took them weeks to create a centerpiece. Yeah. Side by side with them. And uh, let's see, the last card of the reading, the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, this person that's wanting to come in and romance you, they wanted to treat you like a queen, yeah. Oh, this person wanted to come in and treat you like a queen. <laughs> I'm guessing they want to come in and treat you like wife material. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, fellas, but, you know, it's a lot of women that watch tarot. But if you're here as a dude, yeah, you definitely have a soulmate coming towards you. The last card of the reading, the King of Pentacles, voila. <laughs> comes out right on top of the Queen of Pentacles, right? <laughs> then the Knight of Cups. So this is your person. They want to come in and romance you and take you off the market, right? They see you as marriage material. And I heard, I recently heard that that sounds bad, right? Somebody's looking at you like marriage material. I'd rather someone be looking at me as marriage material than looking at me as a piece of meat or looking at me as a walking wallet. Yeah. <laughs> You want to know what's worse? 
when you have to tell someone you're not marriage material, right? When a man has to straight up tell a woman that he's dating, <laughs> you're not marriage material. Or even a woman, like when she has to tell a man, you're not marriage material. You still have things to work on, right? We still have things to work on. And then you listen to the words that people <laughs> say, right? Some people misinterpret it, right? If you be like, oh, there's still work to do, they probably think that it's like work in a relationship where, no, I'm 37. There's still literally more work and more money that I need to make <laughs> before we can consummate this marriage. But no, this is a pretty good uh, reading, man. You definitely have someone that's, co that's coming towards you. They really pedestalize you. They may look up to you or something like that. Or I'm not sure if you have a, if you're an influencer or if you are run some sort of a platform. Or it could just be this individual. You guys are mirroring each other, and actually, right? With the soulmate card here and the 1111 uh, card. You may be seeing uh, repeating numbers. But yeah. They're coveting this energy. They're holding on close to this connection. The Knight of Wands comes in. That's them wanting to come towards you, right? They already want to romance you with the Knight of Cups. And they definitely want to have sexual access to you as well. Yeah. You debut you as a muse. This is a crush, right? Even if, right, um, you're married to this person already or in a relationship, they still crushing on you. Basically, they still love you like the first time they met you, basically, right? So, you know, it's not a crush doesn't always mean oh, you haven't, you know, gotten into a relationship or this person hasn't let you know yet. No, you can definitely be married for those that are watching this and that are married or in a relationship. Your person still feels that youthful childlike energy you may even make them feel like a kid right like when a younger man dates an older woman right making her feel young again or something like that or why do you think older men like younger women right they keep them young ten of wands so we go from the nine of wands to the ten of wands this person there may be a lot of movement maybe this person is at a distance from you or they want to move in with you four of wands here this household they have a lot of passion for you and they're very, yeah, they are very energetic. Two of Pentacles, yeah. <laughs> Trying to figure out where to put that energy. Right. Your relationship or financial matters. There it goes. I knew I was, I knew I was going to see it. At the bottom of the deck is the Nine of uh, uh, Cups. So again, they see you as wish fulfillment. The first card of the reading was the Nine of Pentacles. Another nine here. The last card of the reading is the nine of pentacles they see you as wish fulfillment i'm sorry the king of pentacles they see you as wish fulfillment uh anything of note here no they coming towards you in this knight of wands energy uh and page of cups energy yeah let's see the major arcana there's quite a few of them Well, not that many, I guess. It's just it's a very powerful reading, a very powerful connection. So it feels very strong here. We have the air sign energy. Gemini and Aquarius could be dealing with either one of those air signs or perhaps a Libra. But for what I'm getting, this is going to be a very communicative a relationship with the lovers, right? Communication is key. Gemini energy, two heads up better than one. And the star card, free spirited. So this is a very free spirited uh it's a very open connection here. Not an open relationship, but an open connection here. The here font Taurus energy, you know, traditionalism, spiritual or religious practices, entrepreneurship, right? Systems built around this relationship. So I'm getting maturity and yeah, a lot of maturity. I mean, you're dealing with the king and queen of pentacles. It's the father and mother of the high court cards. <laughs> and the wheel of fortune. Definitely some sort of an abundance headed towards you. Mm -hmm. Or the universe favoring this connection. Yeah. Uh, high court cards. There you guys go. The king and queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, business owners or you know just financially stable people, right? Or if it comes to personality wise, or they are, they're very supportive. They're very down to earth, right? The Knight of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So, yeah, this is indicative of the passion and the romance here. Wanting to come in romantically, right? Whatever it may be. Maybe a walk on a park or a picnic. 
or some sort of a fancy dinner date. I'm even getting parties. If someone wants to take you out singing and dancing, maybe some karaoke, right? Yeah, this person may be very poetic. And they're extremely attractive and creative, yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, maybe this person has some sort of a platform that they might, they might want to invite you on here. We got the Ace of Wands, right? A new beginning for a twin flame connection. This person sees with you. Mm -hmm. Yep, they see you as their person. We got a Six of Wands, Leo energy, right? This is that uh, standing ovation or that round of applause energy. This is how they feel about you, that you're some sort of a spectacle. And then we have two nines, Nine of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. So they don't mind working to come towards you or, um, you know, putting in the energy or putting in the effort, right? Like, and that's how you know someone really cares about you when they're willing to put in the energy, the time, and the effort. Mm -hmm. Sixes or nines, however you want to see them, right? Closure again. Some sort of a self-care process. Maybe this person went through some sort of a spiritual awakening or a dark night of the soul here. The last two cards we have is the Five of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Two detoxing energies, right? Experiencing the, the loss and integrating it or detoxing it. So 2121 showing up on a timer as well. Yeah. A destined connection headed towards you. Getting the wheel of fortune, bringing you your lovers slash four of wands. And then again, confirming uh, your counterpart energy with the king and queen of pentacles. You both may be working on a business at this time. They are healers as well, like natural healers, doctors and nurses. Just like the king and queen of uh, cups, they're healers. The king and queen of pentacles are a strong support systems. Mm -hmm. All right, break that message for the collective, please. And thank you, spirit team. What does the watchers need to know in regards to love and romance and their person, their counterpart coming towards them for this soulmate twin flame? Flight? Any jumpers? 22-22 on the timer. New positive messages, spirit, highest messages of love for this union or this connection. What does our reader need to know? There goes the Ace of Wands again. So this person is extremely passionate about you, right? The male phallus definitely sexually attracted to you. It could be due to your abundance, right? Let's be honest. Let's be straight up, you know. Whether it's masculine or feminine, a woman looks to a man to be very supportive, right? Very, um... Oh, what's the word that I'm looking for? <clears throat> Provider, something like that. And even in the other way around, like the, a dude would be looking for um, support from the feminine, Ace of Wands energy. Maybe creative support. One more book, that message. Well, we didn't even get the original. We just got a jumper. <laughs> What's the break deck message, spirit? For this love union. The Queen of Pentacles comes out with the star card. Yeah. A lot of success. Yeah, we could have a, a, like a celebrity here is what I'm getting, right? Or some sort of an influencer. Mm -hmm. Financially developed. Financially taken care for. This may even be like a kept wife, right? <laughs> or maybe she keeps herself, right? Uh, very, uh, you know, independent, um, financially stable. Mm -hmm. Maybe she supports a group of people as well is what I'm getting. It also looks like she's hope to a lot of people, wish fulfillment, right? A healer of some sorts. Okay, yeah. I mean, I keep getting the, you know, queen of wants, queen of cups energy, but the energy comes in different sorts of ways. So, I mean, this is water here. The funny part is Aquarius, aqua, water. <laughs> How you name an air sign a hey, water name, right? But yeah, the the um, the overbearing mother, right? The nurturer here with Aquarius energy, the healer, the replenisher, right? Yeah, this is someone. This is uh, yeah, a very um, supportive individual. But that is what I have for you guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. We'll have more messages hopefully this afternoon, and uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.